Welcome to Karen's Creative Cards. I am Karen Hashik, and I am very excited to share with you the new holiday dies just released by Karen Berniston and Tonic Studios, as well as a look at the new Tim Holtz Tonic Studios stamp platform. Be prepared to be amazed at these awesome new products I think you're going to want, so this is an enab enabler alert. First, we're going to look at the new Halloween and Christmas pop-up dies just released by Karen Berniston's In Cahoots with Riley and Company. There will be links in my description for all the products I am sharing today. <clears throat> Here are all the dies that Karen Bernison just released for Halloween and Christmas. The first one I'm showing you is the Halloween Scene die. It has all these pieces, the trees, the tombstones, the bat, the spider, and the spider web um, that will create a very cool pop-up die, pop-up card. This one might be my favorite of all of them, although I like them all. This is the Christmas tree pop-up. It um, has a Christmas tree, the small pieces and the large piece that will pop up when the card is opened. So large Christmas tree, small Christmas tree, birds, the um, mechanisms to create this very cool Christmas tree pop-up card. This is a sleigh pop-up die from Karen Berniston. Um, you can see that when the card opens, the sleigh is going to pop up. Um, she has filled it with um, some cute animals that I will show you and some other uh, smaller dies that are part of this release. There is the sleigh, several pieces, the mechanism, and everything included to make this a very cool card. Um, in the links that I include, um, there is, uh, they will go right to Karen Berniston's and Riley and Company's website. She includes a video for every single one of her um, die sets, so there is never any question how to put um, the cards together. This one is the House and Fence pop-up. So you can make a Christmas scene or just a spring scene or a Halloween scene. Um, I can't wait to try that. It has the house and the fence that are going to pop up when the card opens. Here are the uh, a new set called Halloween Elements. So um, all sorts of uh, fun ghost, boo, hat, jack-o'-lanterns, hands that pop up from like a grave or something really cool. Um, these dies, of course, could be used on their own in a Halloween card or in conjunction with um, any of the pop-up um, dies I showed you. These guys are super cute. This is the winter animals. So you get all the pieces to make these three animals with the hats and the snowballs. Super cute. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. This is the gift card label. So it's designed specifically and easily to have a gift card slide in and slide out um, on a card, um, whether it's a pop-up or a regular card. So I'll get a lot of use out of that. Here are her winter charms. Um, one of my favorite uh, new dies from Karen Berniston from the last release has places for hanging charms. Um, so this will be real cute with that or on any card. Um, again, the pieces are all here. The trees, the gingerbread men, and snowflakes. Uh, here are some perfect words for any Christmas card. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Winter, and Seasons Greetings. This is her word set three. So she has a couple other word sets too, all on this real fun font. And uh, last but not least are these really cute snowmen. I love snowmen. Um, and we can make them with all sorts of accessories, the scarves and the hats and the snowflakes with this die. Next, we're going to look at the Tonic Studios release of Halloween dies. There are a lot of them, and they're all very fun. 
Um, I have played with a few of these dies and made some cute trick-or-treat boxes and a spectacular sidestep Halloween card. I will include links to the blog posts for those projects as well as a video I did on the trick-or-treat boxes in the description. The first um, die set that I'm going to show you is the Spooktacular Coffin Treat Box die set. It includes all the pieces to make um, coffin um, treat boxes. There are 23 dies, a base die for creating the trick-or-treat box, a die to create the skeleton, and 21 dies, perfect for decorating and making each treat box unique. When I get new sets of dies, I place them on large magnetic sheets. Um, they're two-sided and they're also from Tonic. They're part of the large ring binder die case refill kit. You get three clear plastic folders and three double-sided magnetic storage sheets. So once I've uh, opened up the packages and um, maybe made a project with it, with it um, I will attach them to these two-sided magnets and then magnet sheets, and then they go into a plastic um, folder. Um, I've used other magnetic sheets before. If you didn't have the the um, folder to put them in. Sometimes the little ones especially like to slide off and then you lose them. We are not going to lose them in this case or on these magnetic strong um, sheets. So um, I showed you the um, coffin box. Also on this side of this um, magnetic sheet is the trick-or-treat, little trick-or-treat die. The Happy Haunting, which I think is really cute. That's a two, there are two pieces to it. The outside piece and the inside one with the words and the ghost. So you could use them in alternating colors or perhaps put glitter behind it or just use the, the, the words. And also on this sheet is Spooktacular, which I think is one of my favorites of the new release. And again, it's a two piece set. Um, the outside piece that can be done in an alternative color and the inside piece that says spooktacular. Here are the rest of the dies in the release. There are a lot of them and they're all very cool. This one is called Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. And again is, is two pieces, the back piece and the front words. This is called Pumpkin Scene, so it could be used for any fall type card as well as Halloween with the cat and, and the scenery behind the pumpkin. This one is What's Brewing, so again two pieces um, that you can use separately or together. This is the Creepy Cauldron. This is the Witchy Bits Trio. It has a witch's hat, a shoe, and a broom. There are two sizes of uh, spider webs, so depending on the size of your card or where you want to put them, or you could put them together, one on one corner of the card and one on the top. This one is very cool. I want to try this one. I haven't had a chance yet. It's called Haunted House Insert. I think that would make a, a fun Halloween card. Um, and then we have Happy Halloween, so that's a, a real um, important die to have for Halloween, of course. And then we have some super cute little um, words. This one is spooky. Uh, these ones are called Mini Moments dies. Very inexpensive. This one is Best Witches. And this one is Boo. I've created some projects with some of these um, dies that I want to share with you today. Um, I did a separate video that you're going to want to watch that shows how to put the, the spectacular coffin treat box together and um, how to make both of these. This one is using all pieces from that specific set, so it has the trick-or-treat top. It has the spider web sides and another spider. This one says Happy Halloween, and this one um, is another um, spider web. Um, I also use the, the spider um, separately, and I put some tonic 
glow drops on the spider and the eyes of the various jack-o-lantern and those will glow in the dark so fun that's fun and then this is uh, another one that I made with some of the other dyes that I showed you this is the happy haunting with the glitter in the back trick-or-treat um, I use the stitched edges although it's a little difficult to see but the stitched edges to cut these out this was a special embossing technique that I shared on the other video you're gonna want to check it out and then this is a card that um, I made with the What's Brewing, Best Witches, Spooktacular, again with the glitter in the back, and the Witch's Hat, which was stamped um, and then cut out with the pattern continuing. And what I used to do that is the Tim Holtz stamp platform. And here is the Tim Holtz stamp platform. I am loving it and finding myself reaching for it all the time. Here are the features of this unique stamping platform. It is a very, very sturdy. It has two sides to the top. One says rubber, so if you're using rubber stamps, you would make sure that that word was up. And then if you are using clear you would switch it to this side which says clear so um, no matter what kind of stamp you're using in it um, you're going to get a good impression I don't have a lot of room on my stamp desk here so I'm hoping that you can see enough of this to um, see why I'm so impressed with it it opens like this you get two very good strong magnets in it. Um, I cover those with washi tape and with a little tag on them so that if they do get together, if they come together, you can easily separate them. And then another tip that I have to share with you is I like to put um, a quilter's plastic template with a grid on my uh, stamp platform and that way if you're stamping off you don't get the ink on the platform which you can clean up but this way it's easier to clean this plastic mat and also you have some extra grids that you can even draw lines on to to place your card in exactly the same place every time especially if you're doing duplicates if you make a mistake and do not get a good impression the first time you stamp, you can stamp again and again in the exact same spot until you're happy. If you're making several or many of the same design, this stamp platform is perfect for speeding up that process. And the cost is less than $40. I'm going to show you a card that I made using the stamp platform. It was invaluable because I needed to stamp in exactly the same spot on two pieces of cardstock with the Tonic Studios Delicate Detail Floral Tag Stamp. Then I die cut the U out of both pieces and attached it to Fun Foam and placed it on the back of the card where the two pieces line up. So if you tried without a stamp platform to stamp in exactly the same place on both these pieces of paper, it would, it would be impossible. But the fact that I was able to place it in the platform, stamp, and then stamp the second one, and then I cut both of them out. <clears throat> I'm going to use the other pieces in another card, but in this case, um, I um, the, the pattern in the U is continued from the pattern in the background. Thanks for watching this special edition of Enabler Alert. I hope I tempted you with some or all of the dies from Karen Berniston and Tonic Studios and the Tim Holtz stamp platform if you need one of these invaluable tools. I have posted links to all the products in my description box. Do me a favor, please, and leave a comment with your favorite of the dies or products I shared in this Enabler Alert. If you are also a subscriber, new or returning, and it is before the end of September 2017, that comment and any others you leave on the other videos I have posted will qualify you for a chance to win the grand opening prize package valued at almost $200. Thanks for helping me spread the joy of creativity.